welcome back. So we did start off with a few peaks of sunshine as we made our way through at least the first part of the day. Then the clouds increased and we did have rain moving through. Now becoming heavy and steady at times. We actually do need the rain, especially along the Colorado border. So that's actually good news. Now look at this high temperature across the region. 82 right at the high temperature today at Scotts Bluff, 85 at Alliance, 83 Gordon and Shatter, and 84 at Sydney. Well above average for this time of year. 70s as you make your way into southeastern Wyoming. Now the rain and the cooler air has uh, gotten us down into the mid to upper 50s. Scotts Bluff and Torrington still near 60 at Hemingford, Bridgeport, and down toward the Sydney area, and still into the upper 60s at Shadron and Gordon. But the winds have flipped around from a southeasterly direction to more of a northwesterly flow, which is a cooler flow. Uh, wind speeds right now starting to get breezy, especially we see this contour here south and east of Scotts Bluff. We do have wind speeds around 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's a look at the satellite loop. Now, still some clear skies, peaks of clear skies into our far eastern counties, but lots of cloud cover. And as you make your way from, say, Scotts Bluff and points off to the south, we do have some moderate to heavy intensity rain, especially approaching Torrington, LaGrange, the Harrisburg area, and down toward Kimball. So we're picking up some good moisture from this system. Now, we got this low pressure system to our north, that frontal boundary setting up over us, the division line between the warm sector, where they did have sunshine in mid-80s for highs in descent from Nebraska, but behind it, much cooler air over the Rocky Mountains. So here's a look at the uh, models as we make our way through the night. That rain band will continue over the next few hours, then start to dissipate around daybreak, mostly cloudy skies. A few more peaks of sunshine, especially tomorrow afternoon. Highs getting into the low to mid-70s, but another band of rain will make its way through for your Saturday night. And then as we go through Sunday, clear skies. So we start off into the upper 40s. The cool air definitely is here, partly to mostly cloudy skies with a chance of showers for your Sunday and high temperatures getting into the lower 70s. So the weather in motion shows that this low is not going to move very quickly. This is a three-day loop, and this cold front only moves from western Nebraska into central Nebraska because these lows are battling against post-tropical cyclone Ian. So uh, these, uh, this warm air is going to exit. Cooler air is going to replace it, and uh, that'll be the story. It'll finally feel like fall as we uh, start next week. As for post-tropical cyclone Ian, falling back through the 70s into the 60s, it'll continue to to uh, mile per hour range, that is. It'll continue to dissipate with most of its moisture. Uh, getting into the Appalachian Mountains right now, by around Saturday morning, should be around tropical depression strength and will just dissipate from there. But notice there's a lot of moisture moving into the Midwest and then into the Northeast from this system. So here's a look at that, the extended forecast. Now, because of Ian, the system that's over us now that's giving us all this rain can't move off to the east as it normally would. So we're going to keep the chances of rain for your Saturday and Sunday. Lots of cloud cover and highs in the lower 70s. Lower 70s on Monday. Finally, we start to get back to some sunshine. Just a slight chance of some showers lasting through Tuesday with a high near 70. And then the cooler air continues to filter in. Lots of sunshine Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures fall from near 70 to the upper 60s. And then upper 60s for Friday with partly cloudy skies. Angel? Thanks, Justin. Overnight in the NFL, Dolphin star quarterback Tua Tango Bailoa suffered a frightening injury to his head and neck area in a game against the Bengals. He was taken off the field on a stretcher as worried teammates and fans looked on. You think about the back, the ankle, but he gets thrown to the ground. Players, fans, and viewers watching the game at home, holding their collective breath after a frightening injury on the field in a game between.